Now, Busia Senator Okia Omtata and three other litigants have petitioned the High Court to stop the implementation of the Affordable Housing Act 2024 as it fails to promote good governance, transparency and accountability. Omtata further wants the courts to declare the newly introduced levy unconstitutional due to the fact that it discriminates against people in formal employment who are required to contribute from their salaries, while persons with non-salaried income are exempt from such contribution. Seth Alala with the latest legal battle on the operationalization of the Affordable Housing Act. A second lawsuit against the implementation of the Affordable Housing Act 2024 filed by Busia Senator Okiom Tata, Bleangima, Benson Odiwod, and Karanja Matindi wants the law abolished for failing to address principles of equal sharing, devolution of power, the rule of law, democracy, and participation of the people, good governance, integrity, transparency, and accountability. The petitioners argue that the entire housing law is discriminatory. It would further be upholding the protection against unlawful discrimination as between formal and informal honors under Article 27, right to human dignity under Article 28, the right to property under Article 40 of the Constitution under Article 201, including openness and accountability and fair sharing of the burden of taxation. You cannot take my money to build a house for another person. If the fund has to survive, let it be voluntary. And this is a Ponzi scheme to steal from Kenyans and to steal land. And that the Affordable Housing Act discriminates against people in formal employment who are required to contribute from their salaries, while persons with non-salary income are exempt from such contribution. Are you going to install cameras on the motorbikes to monitor how many people are being carried and so that they can report to the knee like you do stamps in a factory? So it's, a new, it's practically impossible. What will, will they be paying the 3%? which the employer and the employee pay in this particular case, which is 1.5, 1.5, or will they be just be paying 1.5? In addition, the Affordable Housing Fund purports to use public or community land and sell the said housing unit to a private individual or corporate, an action which is unconstitutional in that all public land is held, managed and allocated by the National Lands Commission and not any other body. How will you, as an individual, buy a house built by public funds on public land? And even the private developer takes the money. I, I strongly believe that um, through the amendments that we did uh, at the floor of the House during, uh, during Committee of the Whole House and what was done by the Senate and the views of the public that we cooperate in the bill makes this law watertight. Nakuru based Dr. Magare Gikeni and four others also sought similar orders from the Milimani Law Courts with the matters scheduled for mention in May 2024. Seth Olale, Citizen TV.